talk about this Canon wireless adapter. The model number of this Canon adapter is the WFT-E6A. WFT is for wireless file transfers. Now, you can get these for $599, but if you're renting a C300 from Midtown Video and you mention this promotion, we're going to include the wireless adapter free. So make sure that you bring to the set a wireless router, right? your wireless adapter, and then any wireless enabled device. So that's an iPhone or an iPad or a you know, if you're an Android kind of guy, bring your Android, that's fine too. Anything with a web browser on it. And what do I mean by that? Bam, that's my camera on the jib. There's Verge waving to you. So my studio audience members will look straight up and see that this camera's on the jib looking down, and my internet viewers at home will see this is a wireless view of the camera on the jib. No, cam no connections from the camera to my monitor. I'm just simply picking it up over Wi-Fi. I can boost up and down my ND filters. I can change which uh, compact flash card I'm using with the slot select button. I can jump into my white balance features and actually change the white balance. Let's say I wanted to just sort of dial up uh, my white balance here, pick a, you know, pick a number. Let's make it really hot. Now, that same image of Verge is all red hot. So we are in real time affecting the settings of the camera. Now, if you didn't believe me that you could do this from your iPad, luckily, uh, Verge always has his iPad handy. I'm going to borrow this from you. Is that all right? So check this out. Uh, we're going to open up the web browser, and we are going to simply type in the IP address of the camera. So it happens to be 192.168.1.126. Go. All right, here we are, logged in, live view. There it is, Canon camera. It's too hot, no problem. Let's jump into the... Uh, what are they called, white balance settings, give it a nice Kelvin 3200, and instantly back to normal. A couple other settings that you can modify here are your clear scan and shutter settings, also your ISO. So if you need to just sort of change things, we're at 2500 right now, but if I wanted to bring it down to 2000, real time, close my iris down, now it's even darker on this image here. And finally, yes, you can absolutely start and stop recording just by clicking this little button right here. Wireless control, put your camera up on a jib, forget about it. Sit down at your laptop, have a cup of coffee, wirelessly affecting your, your, your camera. Let's stay on the laptop just for a second here. This is the advanced, the advanced interface because I've got a giant laptop with a giant screen so I can see everything. If I was operating from, a, from an iPhone or an iPad, I could just go over to this basic control and it's everything that you saw in a much smaller image. Now, um, we can still turn on live view. We still get a live feed of what's going on from the camera and video, but it's a smaller, easier to manage, um, easier to manage view of what's going on in your camera. There's one third, one third view, and that's the metadata input. Check this out. Here I can enter a clip title, a creator, that's for your DP or perhaps your director, a location, a description, all of this kind of stuff that goes directly into the data, even GPS information for the location of your shots. So there it is, 600 bucks gets you your own Canon WFT E6A, come into Midtown Video, rent a C300, we'll throw one of these into your rental so that you can experience awesome wireless metadata and wireless video monitoring.